Of all the lessons in this course, this one and the one that follows it may just be the most valuable lessons in terms of their practical everyday use when you're using this word processing application. The reason why that is, is because when you're using Word, you'll be selecting text thousands upon thousands of times. So when you select text, you can do so by using the mouse, the keyboard, your finger, and sometimes you can even use a combination of all of those things. Let's just start with the most simple method, in my opinion, that, that is the click and drag. And that's something that most people know before they even start to take this course. So when you click and drag, you just hold down the mouse and drag, and you'll notice that the selections go one letter at a time until you get uh, more than one word into your selection. So if you look at the word many, it's selecting one letter at a time, and then as I start to keep going, it's just jumping one thing at a time, one entire word at a time. That is because something is enabled called Smart Select by default, and that will select the entire word when you're just simply clicking and dragging your mouse. If you want to quickly select an individual word, what you can do is double click on that word. If you want to quickly select an individual paragraph, then you can do a triple click to select that paragraph. Now, most people like the Smart Select feature, but if you want to turn that off so that you can select individual letters a little more precisely, go to the Backstage view, go to the File menu, then click on Options. And from the Options dialog box here, go to the Advanced section, and it's this second one down, the second editing option. When selecting, automatically select the entire word. Now, I prefer that Smart Select, so I'm going to leave that thing on. Now, another thing that you'll notice when you select an entire paragraph, as I just did here, is that you'll notice this. This little thing is called the mini toolbar, and this puts a number of formatting options at your fingertips, such as bold, italic, underline text, change the font, change the size, and so on. Now, most people like this, but for some people it can be a little bit distracting. So depending on your personal preference, you can turn that off as well. Once again, you go to the backstage view, and then click on options. And then from the general, it's this very first thing under user interface options, show mini toolbar on selection. So if you want the mini toolbar out of your way as you're working with Word, go ahead and give that an uncheck. Now let's go back to selecting. If you're like me and if you're like most, the more time you spend using Word, the less time you'll spend grabbing for your mouse and the more time you'll spend with your hands at the keyboard. The key to making selections of text with your keyboard is the shift key. Just hold down the shift key and then use the arrows to select text. If you want to go back and forth, you just use the left arrow and right arrow with the shift key pressed on your keyboard. Also, if you press the down arrow or up arrow, you can select entire lines. So if you want to select multiple paragraphs, then you can do something like that where you press the up arrow and then make any adjustments you need to with the left and right arrows and quickly select multiple lines of text all without using the mouse. The other thing that could be very handy is shift and control. If you hold that keyboard combination down, now you're selecting entire words at a time. Now for a quick variation on that, let's do this. Let's set the cursor, let's set the I bar at the very beginning of this first paragraph here, which starts with of all the many things. And this time we'll combine the keyboard and the mouse. If you want to make a custom selection or select two, three, five paragraphs at a time, hold down the shift key and then click where you want the selection to end. So with the cursor there, hold down shift and I've selected two paragraphs of text. Now, very briefly, if we go over to the Mac side of things, which I'm looking at a Macintosh uh, uh, Word document on the Macintosh here, same thing applies. If I hold down the Shift key and hit my arrow keys, I'm selecting one letter at a time. If I hold down Shift and Option, now I'm selecting multiple words at a time. If I hold down Shift and the up and down arrows, I'm selecting all these lines at a time and I'm making selections very quickly using just my keyboard. And then lastly, if you want to select everything in a given document, remember Control-A. On the Mac side, it's Command-A, but 
the keyboard shortcut Control-A or Command-A selects everything. If you ever want to make a D selection with text selected, then hit one of the arrow keys. If you hit the left arrow key, you'll go to the beginning of your selection. If you hit the right arrow key, you'll be taken down to the end of your selection. So now the question becomes, what do you do with all of that selected text? The next lesson will explore that very thing.